no way. I, I can't make the video. On one hand, I can't make it. On the other hand, I have to make it because it's the uh, end of the year, ladies and gentlemen. It's 2023. What I want to do today, since I survived the I-5 from the San Francisco Bay Area back to L.A., since I survived, I'm going to be very grateful about 2023. I'm going to go over... Uh, three painful truths about my watch collection for 2023 and three encouraging truths about my uh, watch collection. The shirt I got for Christmas, what does it say? It says cold cereal lover. Well, that's weird. You sh this should be about the theme of watches. Well, I have other interests than watches, all right? I also like cereal, shredded wheat. All right, so... As I look back on 2023, I want to tell you, after 20 years of watch collecting, I realize that for me, wearing a watch, and this is painful, but I got to do it, I got to do it, it's a form of cosplay, cosplay, wearing a costume. You are a nerd who goes to Comic-Con and dresses up as a superhero. That's all this... Uh, this watch, yeah, it is kind of, you know, I used to dress up as uh, Batman when I was in kindergarten. Here I am, I'm 62, and I'm playing a superhero w with a watch. You know, I, I, I read the psychological journals about uh, cosplay and whatever we do to, to uh, figure out our cosplay. And it's a way of uh, fantasizing about control and power. And, you know, life's pretty scary. You've got weaponized misinformation. You've got... Uh, artificial intelligence, which any second now could go rogue. I got my students using chat GPT. Makes me feel out of control. So, I play cosplay. It's a painful truth, but I got to admit it. The other thing that's uh, painful about cosplay pretty much sums you up as a man child. Yeah. Eh, just embrace it. Admit it. Nothing you can do about it. If you're 62 and you're still a man-child, mm, I doubt you're going to have an epiphany. I doubt you're going to have a transformation at Damascus. Probably not going to happen. All right. Uh, painful truth. I, I don't know if I can do this. Okay. I have seven watches in my rotation. I'm not going to lie to you. It's too many it's just way too many. It gives me anxieties to look in my watch box and try to decide what I'm going to wear. It gives me anxieties to set a watch. Uh, I never know what I'm going to wear. It's just too many. What am I going to do about it? Nothing. Doing nothing about it. Like all the watches, I don't want to deal with, uh, with sellers and buyers on eBay. I'm not doing it for that reason. And here's another reason why I'm not doing it. For those of you who don't know me, I have a history of doing what is called the re-buy. The re-buy. I don't want to be 120 years old and have some anchor, uh, news anchor interview me. So what's it like being 120? How do you define your life? Well, son, I was always re-buying watches. I would buy a watch, sell it, re-buy it, rinse, lather, repeat. Rinse, lather, repeat. I don't want to be that guy. I'm not doing the rebuy. I'm not selling them. I'm just going to suffer my seven watch uh, rotation. I'm just going to suffer it. Very painful truth. I got too many watches. Probably better off having two for someone with my personality, but it's not going to happen. I just have to suffer. It's a painful truth for 2023. Oh my God. I don't know if I can make this video. All right. Here's my third. Uh, Painful truth for 2023. Oh boy, I'm at the point in my collecting where I can't buy a watch. I'll tell you why. If I buy a watch right now, it's going to diminish my ability to experience the pleasure of I already own. See this SLA 051, the Seiko Amura? I can't buy another watch. It would be like, I would be Charles Grodin in the 1972 movie, The Heartbreak Kid. This is my wife. We're on our honeymoon. And I getting a new watch would be like dumping my wife so I could hang out with Sybil Shepherd in The Heartbreak Kid. It's not going to happen. It's reckless disregard. It's not going to happen. 
So I don't even know if I could buy a watch right now because I can't bring Civil Shepherd into my home. I don't know. I don't know if that analogy works. All right, now let's be more um, let's be more positive. I do have some uh, very encouraging truths about my watch collecting for 2023. Three to counterbalance the painful truths. All right, number one. Very encouraging truth. I no longer wear bracelets. Why is that a good thing? Well, no more bling, no more hot spots, no more rattling around the house like the ghost of Christmas past. Uh, no more micro adjustments. Love it. Love it. Encouraging truth number two. My watch collection has achieved a very consistent... Oh, by the way, if you want to know why I'm talking kind of in a low voice, my family is asleep. The, the trip on the I-5 was very taxing, and they're sleeping, and I'm kind of like subdued a little bit. Forgive me. Maybe I shouldn't make this video. I don't know. I don't know. Anyways, back, back to my uh, uh, encouraging watch truth for 2023. Okay, I notice my collection now has a consistent theme. Retro divers on straps. Very consistent. I'm going to stay on the true path. Hallelujah. I'm on the true path. And what I like about having a consistent theme, very focused, is that it wards off chaos. Warding off chaos is very helpful for me personally. Probably for you too. All right, finally... Uh, this is a very encouraging truth for 2023. Maybe, I'm not saying this definitively, maybe I've hit my end game. If that's true, that's a bittersweet proposition. Because uh, hitting the end game means there's a certain amount of relief. You know, you, you're you Gulliver, you're washed up ashore, you finally hit land, you're resting. Oh my God. Out in the ocean of watch madness, the storm. What do you forget, Gilligan? Let's yeah, forget Gulliver. Let's go to Gilligan. I think Gilligan was inspired by Gulliver. You're Gilligan, dude. <laughs> You're on the island now, and it's kind of bittersweet because uh, you know, as far as content goes, I, I don't know. I, I've had this uh, hobby of making uh, watch videos for the last uh, nine years, and the thing is, I refuse to fabricate content just so I can make a video and see myself on TV. I like <clears throat> I like making video essays, so this channel has always been dedicated to uh, chronicling my obsessions. And so whatever those obsessions will be, I'll hopefully be able to make a video essay. I don't know where I stand in uh, watches for, uh, for 2024, because like I said, I'm already in my situation here, my domestic watch situation, and I don't want to be like the heartbreak kid and pull a fast one with Sybil Shepherd. I need to watch that movie. And again, having flashbacks. Great movie. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, tell me what you think. What, what, have you, um, what have you noticed about your watch collecting? It's been very painful to confront for 2023. And any directions uh, that have caused you to be grateful. Ladies and gentlemen, until next time, I'm out.